Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to talk about an interesting topic that plays a crucial role in our overall health, gut microbes. Did you know that our gut is home to trillions of microbes that form a complex ecosystem? Having a diverse and healthy gut microbiome is essential for our well-being. So, in this video, we'll be sharing some tips on how to increase the diversity of gut microbes for better gut health. Let's dive in. Hi everyone! I'm excited to share some valuable information about gut health with you today. Our gut is home to billions of bacteria, viruses, fungi, and other microorganisms that make up our gut microbiome. Having a diverse gut microbiome is crucial for maintaining good health, as it helps with digestion, nutrient absorption, immune function, and even mood regulation. So, let's take a look at some ways we can increase the diversity of gut microbes. Tip 1. Eat a plant-based diet. One of the best ways to promote a diverse gut microbiome is by eating a plant-based diet. Plant-based foods are rich in fiber, which serves as food for our gut microbes. When our gut microbes consume fiber, they produce short-chain fatty acids that nourish the cells lining our gut and promote a healthy gut environment. So, make sure to include plenty of fruits, vegetables, legumes, nuts, and seeds in your diet to support a diverse gut microbiome. Tip 2. Consume fermented foods. Fermented foods are another excellent way to increase the diversity of gut microbes. These foods are rich in probiotics, which are beneficial live bacteria that can colonize our gut and promote a healthy gut microbiome. Some examples of fermented foods include yogurt, sauerkraut, kimchi, kefir, and kombucha. Adding these foods to your diet can help introduce new strains of beneficial bacteria to your gut and improve its diversity. Tip 3. Avoid antibiotics and excessive antibacterial products. While antibiotics can be life-saving medications, they can also disrupt the diversity of gut microbes. Antibiotics kill both harmful and beneficial bacteria in the gut, which can lead to an imbalance in the microbiome. So, it's important to only take antibiotics when necessary and as prescribed by a healthcare professional. Additionally, excessive use of antibacterial products like hand sanitizers and soaps can also negatively impact our gut microbiome. Opt for regular soap and water instead of antibacterial products whenever possible. Tip 4. Manage stress. Stress can have a significant impact on our gut health. When we're stressed, our body produces stress hormones that can disrupt the balance of gut microbes. Chronic stress can negatively affect the diversity of our gut microbiome and compromise our overall gut health. That's why it's important to prioritize stress management techniques in our daily routine. Consider incorporating practices such as yoga, meditation, deep breathing, or other stress-reducing activities to support a healthy gut microbiome. Take a moment to practice deep breathing with me. Breathe in deeply through your nose, filling your belly with air, and then exhale slowly through your mouth. Repeat this a few times, allowing yourself to relax and de-stress. Taking simple steps to manage stress can go a long way in promoting a diverse gut microbiome. So there you have it some valuable tips on how to increase the diversity of gut microbes. By incorporating a plant-based diet, consuming fermented foods, avoiding unnecessary antibiotics and antibacterial products, and managing stress, you can support a healthy gut microbiome. Remember, our gut health is closely linked to our overall well-being, so let's take care of our gut to optimize our health. Thanks for watching. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. Feel free to leave your comments and questions below. Take care of your gut, and we'll see you in the next video. As a reminder, always consult with a healthcare professional before making any changes to your diet or lifestyle. This video is for informational purposes only and is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment.